Hi guys, thank you so much for sticking and staying with us throughout season five. Um, hope you come back for season six because we'll be back real soon. Merry Christmas, have a happy new year, and be safe out there. We need to mark the place where like they can't move you on. Hello? Go. After the show wrapped in November, we had one more thing to do, which was Afrochella. And then my December fan began. Before each new season, I spend a lot of time going over the season that has just wrapped. I check for mistakes, read comments, and start to conceptualize the new season because everything needs to be ready before shoot day. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> shoot days are no fun for me. I don't really have fun on shoot days because it's multitasking. You're, you're thinking about food. You're thinking about the next person that's coming to shoot. You're thinking about making sure they don't see the answers to the questions. Like, it's very chaotic. But the cars, they have fun. I have fun with them. When we hang out outside of the, like, shooting, it's always fun. But most of the time, when I see them, I'm working. So, yeah. But they're, they're a fun group of people. So, I enjoy them. You guys remember that thing? I can actually do it. I know. season like we have different um, themes I guess for like the introduction the teaser video or something so Joseph, Joseph asks us for ideas we brainstorm usually Joseph comes up with the idea and then we add stuff move stuff and then we go on and make it we were thinking about approaching television we wanted to uh, see if we could get off the top because we've had a lot of people you know come up and say oh this will look really good on TV are you interested and um, for me, things that I don't understand, I don't like to dabble in. And just the TV world, getting on TV and all of that, it seemed very hectic when I first attempted it in like 2017. So I really left it. But this time around, I said, okay, let me try and do that. So I had a conversation with somebody who said we had to have uh, 22 to 23 minutes long. So I was like, how am I going to... Because our episodes are basically between 10 to 12 minutes. The longest has been 17. So in thinking about how to make it longer i thought about doing the three rounds and then someone had mentioned that we had to have more competition and that's when i brought in the ideas um for the two groups so that was the whole idea but um you know once we had shots and everything i was just not feeling the whole tv vibe so we and because of corona we were actually not able to shoot more episodes so i was thinking about how to go about it i said let me just package it as a four-part special the last one being a documentary put it out and then see how people react to the new structure and then based on that we can see whether or not we will go with it in subsequent um seasons that's usually the camera guy joseph Planning this particular shoot is very different from the other ones because usually we just use one camera and um, three lights. We light out the backdrop and then we light out the subjects and um, the cast. And we use like a mixer and um, two lapel mics and we, we connect the two lapel mics into the mixer and then the mixer takes it into the camera so that um, they don't have to sync the sound when they're editing. <laughs> <laughs> Working on this one, um, we knew what we wanted, so we had to get three cameras. We are shooting one confessional and two angles for the the main event, and we had like four, three to four lights. We we did one backlight, and then the two was the filling, and then the main lights, and we used the boom instead of the um, lapel because we noticed that. 
using the laptop, you, you, you had to unmic someone and then mic the new people coming to sit down. And it was taking time. So we decided to just boom the, the sound into the camera. And that was it. Yeah, team A brother, you went by a black one and team B white. And what we're doing is, we're fitting you guys <laughs> against each other. So, wow. team uh, A's <laughs> first group will answer the round of questions, and when we score you, and then team B's um, first group will answer round. We had like a two station setup. So as soon as they are done with the questions, we run over to the confessional side and then record them quickly, and then we go on to the next team. It's okay. Let's do it again. Black team, you guys won. Again? <laughs> <laughs> so for this project, um, the main difference was we decided to incorporate uh, more chroma key into the green screen onto the uh, motion graphics. So after we finished shooting, we set up the green screen. We had uh, um, the cast come in. Give their different reactions and different um, actions. Okay, all right, we're filming, guys. Silence on set. Please put your phones on silence, please. Okay, all right. So, this is episode two because KT came late. Yeah, wow. um, KT. Episode two, round one, team A. Team A. Team. That's us. You guys, don't disgrace yourself because on the other side of this is Alberto and V. No, that's like the smartest group you could ever. This is we are also this smart. smartest group. No. Are you recording? This is what I meant. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> this is Alberto and V. Yeah. 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 Y
back up that one too light bear how you gonna come to the spot just to snap that one too light bear how you gonna come to the spot where you no go dance you silly mother <laughs> The journey uh, for Off The Top has been great and it's very nice meeting a lot of people like pass through the set and making friends and stuff like that. I'm normally an introvert but Off The Top brings out the best in me. This is an ad. I love working with both the crew and the cast, everyone's energy comes through, everyone puts in like everyone puts in maximum energy because like we are actually in love with this off the top product and we want to make sure that we put out stuff that not only we are proud of but everyone like enjoys watching in the end. Oh just just put it inside my dress. So it's been three years since we started um, producing OTT and it's it's been fun. I mean I've learned a couple of things from working on the show and I've met couple of amazing people too. Hanif is supposed to be all-knowing. Hanif is the smartest person on the crew. What the fuck? Susa, <laughs> Susa is not even second. I'm serious. Like, Hanif is the smartest person on the crew. So if Hanif can solve it, then we know that we are done. <laughs> 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 we are done. <laughs> I owe a lot of my growth as a filmmaker and a content creator to these guys. You know, when I first started out, I had no idea I was going to be editing, you know, calling all of these equipments by their actual names, understanding technical jargons. And it's been these guys, every step of the way, they have explained and taught me to do things. They've not just done things for me or for the show. And I owe a lot of my growth to you know, the process that they have made making off the top become. I'm always overwhelmed by the amount of love that we get shown on, you know, YouTube and Twitter, social media generally. You know, um, even with the OTT lives that we started doing, we started doing it because I felt like we'd been away for a long time and then we started doing it and like, we get in 3,000 views. I'm like, wow, hey, people really like, you know. So I'm always grateful. Um, I remember getting 100 views the very first time, very first season, and I was very excited. And now, like, our base is like 3,000 or 4,000. So that's really cool. And I'm grateful that people love the show and reach out and, you know, it's, it's cool. And for as long as we are a team and we still have interest in doing it and Sousa keeps replying text messages, we'll keep doing the show. I'm really excited uh, for this, uh, this new special. See how people receive it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the show has definitely come a long way. On some days, it seems like it will be easier to give it all up, you know, hang up the boots. But the love we get from the fans makes it worth it. And I guess we'll keep going until the wheels fall off. <laughs> Off the top. My role, <clears throat> my role is to help the team come up with concepts, and yeah, I'm making myself feel good. <laughs> Generally, it was uh, it was fun. It was um, a less number of people as well, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I used to teach I used to teach English at a university, I swear. It was um and it was fewer number of people, so I think maybe it was a bit more um, working with a thing. Mm. <laughs> I'm tired of Susa. I mean I'm tired, that's why I'm talking like that. That one too light bear. How you gonna come to the spot? Where you no good dance, you silly mother.